hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today's video is a very uh, informative video and this video is about the new applicants uh, who uh, became citizen u.s citizen and then they want to uh, uh, get an appointment for the u.s passport at the post office in the united states so this process is actually um, uh, for those uh, citizens who already who already uh, pass the uh, interviews at the immigration office and they receive their uh, certificate of uh, naturalization and then after uh, this process then you have to uh, the last process is the last step is uh, uh, you have to go online and make an appointment at the post office and then uh, bring your documents so i'm not going to uh, prolong the video let's go uh, see uh, and then uh, use the computer use the use google how to apply for that guys uh, here so this is my personal this is my uh, desktop computer and then once uh, you come to google here so you have to write usps.com once you write this and then you press enter and then once you press enter so uh you will see this uh, page usps.com and then you have to come here all the way here to the search menu here come to search menu and then find passports see this is passport click on this and then once you come here and then find out this link this second one see this second one which says uh, usps.com slash international slash passports.htm let me click it so this will take you to the next page and then you see it says uh, schedule an appointment so click on this and then uh, this link will take you to the actual uh, page so here it says choose a service so here is the new passport only this is the new passport with photo services and this is uh, passport services only and this is passport renewal passport renewal is for those who already got the u.s passport and then it, it is expired after five years or eight years and then you can uh, uh, request an appointment for renewal so since uh, this is for the new brand new uh, citizens who became citizen and want to uh, apply for the passport book so we have to uh, click on new passport only and for the photos here uh, don't choose this one choose this one the passport only and then I recommend you to go to your the CVS and take some uh, two photos and bring it to the post office because the the uh, the post office uh, cameras are sometimes not good it's not uh, it's sometimes acting because they are using the old model so let's see new passport only come here adults how many adults you are for example if you want to apply for yourself you can click one if you are apply for two person or three person you can apply you can uh, choose three persons here and then since uh, and or if you want to apply for uh, minors and you already have one since i already have my passport so i would like to apply for my son so here is uh, children under 16 years like the minors so here it depends how many children you want to apply for one person two three children let's say for example one person you can select two person like if you got uh, two children so uh, remember that uh, once you pass the interview at the immigration office so your children will be automatically uh, they will become a citizen so you just uh, uh, bring their uh, green cards with a certificate of naturalization and submit uh, hand it over to the post office so guys here select a location and then here put zip code what is the and this is the miles so here uh, let's put a zip code here i will put 2784 so this is in highsville maryland in united states so we live around by this zip code so uh, how many uh, post office are around by it will show the location 
passport photo locations okay so hit search here now is initializing so guys see how many location came here one two three four and five so the nearest location is uh, is called landover hills so and it's, it is uh, 0 0.8 miles away from my location and the other one is 1.8 miles away it's, it's in Bladensburg and the other one is the, la the last one is in at Largo so it's four miles away let's uh, select the nearest one here select this location and then you see now you select the, uh, the, the date here from here so uh, since today is uh, Saturday uh, March the 5th so tomorrow is 6 Sunday is close so let's for example uh, select Monday from here so any date you can check uh, you see your availability so <coughs> let's say Monday here and then select the date guys on Monday there are no uh, appointments available it says there are no time slots available for the total number of people selected please select a different date or location okay let's select a different date here let's do for example Friday let's do Friday the 18 okay Friday first day uh, let's do for example Thursday the 17 yeah select this yeah we there are available here you, see, you have to scroll down from here so scroll down and see these are like two availability at 11 45 one appointment available and at 12 15 the other times you see these are gray so these are actually uh, booked these 10 o'clock 10 15 10 30 all the way to 11.30 so 11.45 is available or 12.15 let's select 11.45 so we select this and then here you have to for example uh, uh, put the names for example I will put the test I will put first name is the test last name is test 2 so I put last name is test two because we are doing a test. And then here, uh, select this one and also select this one. And then you can put a phone number here. They will uh, send you a confirmation to the email, to the phone also. And also you can put email here. If you want, you can put an email here. So <coughs> for now, let's ignore it one phone number is enough and then here review the appointment and then okay here it says please enter a valid last name so we have to check here uh, for example let's say John John and here is uh, a don't uh, let us okay we have to put an email a valid email in order for the system to process okay now it says uh, uh, zero adult one minor appointment uh, for this John phone number email and this is the location see this is the location in Maryland this is the date on the uh, March the 17 at 11 45 so it says please arrive 10 minutes uh, ahead of the schedule of the appointment time so from here we you can edit it if the information is not good it's wrong so you can edit from here and then it says 35 dollar the fees but it's actually uh, when you go there the fees is 135 dollar for one person and then you can confirm here so once you confirmed it so the it says the appointment status reads is confirmed and this is the confirmation number it so and also don't forget uh, to uh, to fi fill out the ds11 forum 
so this is two pages let me show you this 11 here yeah so this is ds11 forum you have to fill it out it is uh, two pages it says ds11 so you have to fill this forum you can uh, uh, download it online and fill it out and print it or you can go to the nearest uh, post office and then uh, they will uh, give you a hard copy and then you can fill it out for each person and then so yeah this is the u.s passport and this is the uh, yeah u.s flag you see so guys please help me again so guys uh once uh, the appointment is confirmed uh and then uh, the passport department department requires you uh, to bring the necessary documents for example as i said ds11 uh, for each person uh, your green card and also uh, your certificate of naturalization and then uh, driver license uh, if you are married you have to bring the certificate marriage certificate uh, with its original and its uh, translated one your Tazkiras, which is called ID, original one, and it's a translated one. So you have to bring all these documents uh, and your two photos. And then uh, the post office will collect all of these originals and then they will uh, put it a packet and they will uh, send it to the passport department. And then once they receive it, they will uh, send you a, confer uh, a, they will confirm it, they will send you a, a mail saying that we have received your uh, uh, your items and in the second mail they will uh, return your uh, certificate of naturalization and then it takes the whole process takes from 8 to 16 months to for you to get your passport so guys this was a very short and very informative in uh, video if you have any questions or comments leave it over there in the comment below and then uh, I will answer it. Also, I am a uh, trilingual. I can uh, provide the same information in Urdu language, Persian, and also in Pashto, if you guys want it. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful time. Bye.